Thank you, Brian. The Food Patrol tags along with McAllen's chief health inspector. Lupe Flores is, is a pro when it comes to keeping the public safe. He knows inspections are the primary line of defense against dirty dining. Tonight, the world of the good, bad, and dirty dining through his eyes in this special edition of Food for Thought. We catch up with Inspector Flores during his follow-up visit at De Harvey's Taco off South 10th Street in Dallas. Flores is checking some of the 27 areas on an inspection report as outlined by the Texas Food Establishment Rules. He believes proper hand washing is most critical to public health. And it's important to wash your hands, especially using the restroom and all that. Categories of inspection include temperature, personnel, and facility requirements. Insect and rodent contamination only account for three demerits each, but Flores knows they each harbor disease and he'll shut down a restaurant on the spot with either violation. If we find somebody with roaches or rodents, we try to close it immediately. You need to take corrective action. Flores doesn't buy the excuse he hears on Food for Thought when a manager claims roaches are everywhere. He says it's a restaurant's obligation to keep it clean with routine pest control. I see it all the time on TV where people say, well, they have it everywhere. And I'm in restaurants all the time and some are bad and some, I mean, I, I look and, and I don't find any. Inspectors are like cops, but for kitchens. Flores doesn't take that responsibility lightly. It's important because uh, it, it, it's food safety and somebody can get sick. He knows some ways restaurants try to butter up to inspectors is by offering free food or drinks. Flores avoids any potential conflict by not accepting anything during an inspection. The city also rotates inspectors semi-annually. We're in one area and then we get switched to another area so you don't get too familiar with the, with the business owners. Repeat health code violators face a ticket and potential fine, but this inspector knows there's another unwritten punishment looming for those who can't keep it clean. Food for thought, I think uh, it's open dice. I've seen where the program picks up a business, I guess it can, it can also bring it down. So if you want to be on the up and up, keep your restaurant in shape. De Harvey's Taco makes good on housekeeping and equipment corrections and passes the mark. But the job of an inspector is never done. The quest to keep it clean continues at every kitchen in the city. And that health department really does great work. At least one health department requires a restaurant to initial on the report that no food, drinks, or any other potential bribe was taken during the inspection. McAllen hopes to adopt a similar practice in the near future. Remember, kitchens keep it clean. We're reporting what's not on the menu.